Hey, my beautiful friends, this is Lenka. Sorry that I haven't been posting any videos. Um, as I mentioned before, I am in Facebook jail. I am pretty much blocked from all the social media, but uh, I promise that I will be doing some videos. We've been super busy, but I have some great news uh, today I would like to share with you. So today we were helping one of our moms that got arrested shopping without wearing a muzzle and she was arrested for trespassing so it's here in california southern california in lake elsinore and she was arrested on trespassing charges um uh it's the california penal code uh, 602 uh, o and then they corrected it actually to another california penal code 602.1 a and um, what's very interesting is that they are just using these scare tactics uh, to scare everyone else, to scare the employees, to scare the people that, you know, police can come in. These were actually sheriff deputies that came in and arrested this single mother with two kids while she was trying to shop peacefully at a store. Then they change the charges that she was not shopping peacefully that she was disturbing uh you know the lawful business uh first of all there is no loss uh, mask law so they have absolutely no right to be discriminated discriminating against a healthy um healthy person who was just shopping um the penal code that they charged her with uh even that section o stipulates that trespassing does not apply to a place that's open to general public and then when they corrected her charge um uh, it was basically just making it up that she was that she intentionally went there to disturb uh the lawful um, operation of that business which was absolutely not true so today we went to the court with her um, we were waiting outside of course there were police there were uh, deputies that were requiring people to wear muzzle which is absolutely unlawful so if any of you are trying to get justice and are being forced to this unlawful unconstitutional uh, edicts you have rights and you need to be standing up so our mom of course would not comply because this is how we will stop the tyranny by peaceful non-compliance and standing up for our rights um, so they took it inside and they uh, they told her that she would have to fill out some some form well they never came back and when it was time for her hearing suddenly her case just mysteriously disappeared from this from the court schedule and this is my beautiful friends is what happening they are just using scare tactics to push the entire nation into these unlawful edicts because people do not know their rights they do not know that um, law enforcement is there to enforce law not some criminal store policy edicts um, let's be very straight on that so we need to challenge all these authorities who are by the way are working for us they are our servants they are public servants and they have to they have to comply with the oath of office they took every single one of them and we need to hold them all responsible so today we have another great victory um, in murrieta in southern california here super excited we all went to celebrate had amazing meal and we are ready to take on this challenge so this is a quick message for all of you to have hope to stand strong know your rights fight for your rights and remember that this is what we have to do because we have to go by the law otherwise you know we will have we will have a total tyranny and dra draconian orders running this country and we cannot allow this so check us out on ftbagency.com this is lenka coloma and i will be back to you with some more news